Hi, I'm Paul. So I'm on the E100 Eagle, otherwise known as the PXID F1 or a Dynatron's Challenger Pro. Car coming. So the other day it overheated, so I brought it home and it started working again. Right, I've been on a ride and it stopped working. So I had a mess about with the battery and the connection inside is quite loose um, where it connects to the battery, it moves about which it, that shouldn't do and I can't get the door to shut so I'm going for a quick spin, staying local, do a few circuits and see if it stays okay. It's working now but we'll see. Okay, let's do it. Right, so we're in mode three. Go up and down here a few times. There, it stopped working. Right. Right, and it's working again. Right. Yeah, there's some up with it. And it stops working. So, is it this battery connection? Because it shouldn't move about like that. And I can't get that shot. Yeah, it's still lit up. I'm afraid this is going to be going back. It's a mint e scooter, but look at that how it moves. Shouldn't move like that. to reset it I bet it's that loose connection It's okay.
Right, and it's done it again. Right, time to head home, I think. Um, it's obviously faulty. I'm not messing with it. I know I know about e-scooters and e-bikes, but why should I? Why should I mess with it? I bought it brand new. You don't expect this. Well, you do with Chinese stuff. Some are bound to be faulty. But let's see if that does it. But this will be the last ride on it until I get response off Auto Shield Care. Right, I'm gonna go ride on the Carrera Kraken. on it again stops and starts nothing to do with the brakes is it these brake sensors Home, luckily, I'm only five minutes away. 